Hey guys, this is the Simple Tutorials, and today I've got an exciting tutorial for you guys. So I'm going to be showing you how you can run PS2 games on your Mac for free, and it's actually very simple. So you're actually going to need to download um, a few things. These, all these links will be in the description, by the way. So the first one, uh, link that you're going to go to, uh, you just want to make sure that you click this P. PCSX2 Mac Full Builds, uh, this link right here under there. So click that. So that's the actual application that will be running the PS2 games. And then the next one that you want to download is something called uh, X Quartz. So if you have Leopard, click uh, the Leopard one. And if you have Snow Leopard, click the Snow Leopard one. Uh, by the way, these are all install installer files, so you'll just, uh, once you ins uh, download them, just open them and they'll install to your computer. Uh, then you're going to need uh, something called uh, CG, like NVIDIA. I don't even know what it is, but you need it to run. So download it for the uh, Mac OS X. And it says Leopard and Tiger, but it does work for Snow Leopard. I verified that on my computer. And then the last thing that you're going to need is uh, this file from RapidShare. And this is the PS2 BIOS. You don't really need to know what that means, but just get it anyways. Okay, so once you've ins uh, downloaded all that stuff, uh, you should just install it to your computer. And then uh, you're going to be ready to run your PS2 games. All right, so as I said, just install all the files that I just told you to download. And then the next thing that you want to do is find your BIOS folder. So one of the files that we got from RapidShare was the uh, PSX, PCSX2 BIOS. And pretty much what you want to do is unzip it or un -R -A -R it. Uh, I forget what it was. And then uh, find the folder that says BIOS or BIOS. Um, and it should have a bunch of random stuff in it like this. So once you have that folder, uh, put it somewhere where you can find it, like the desktop, and then open PCSX2. So PCSX2 will open in a thing called uh, X11, but you don't really have to worry about that. Now, what you want to do here is before you can play any games, you're going to have to configure the BIOS and configure the controls. So to configure the BIOS, go to config, then configure, um, you won't get that message, but uh, just click select BIOS DIR or directory and then go to the place where you put your BIOS folder. So for example, mine was on my desktop. Now make sure you see all this random stuff and then click open. All right, so now you've selected your BIOS and over here on the right of the screen or the window, sorry, uh, you just want to select the USA uh, 2004. Just And if you have a different BIOS, make sure that you just select the most recent one. For example, it could say 2005 or something like that, but just select the most recent one. So click OK. And now you should be able to run games, but you'll need to configure the controls if you want to actually run the game. So to configure the controls, go to Config and then Controllers. And it's going to bring up this uh, dialog box here. And this is how you configure the controls. So as you can see, all these buttons are labeled with uh, PS2 controller uh, like buttons. For example, L2 and R2, up, left, right, down, start, uh, select, square, triangle, circle, cross, etc. So to, do, to uh, change the controls, what you want to do is just uh, click on one of the bu buttons and then on your keyboard, you can press a key that corresponds to that button. So for example, in the game, if you want uh, like W to represent going up or whatever, then you would put W there, right? So uh, I've already configured mine the way I want to. Um, and now, once you've done that, you should be able to run games. Okay, so now I'm going to show you a website on the internet that you can download PS2 games for free. Now, before I show you that, I just have to say that I do not recommend downloading games that you don't already own because it is illegal. And so, yeah, I don't endorse that and download at your own risk. All right, so the website 
is called roms-freaks.net. It will be in the uh, description. And make sure you're under PS2 or PlayStation 2 here. And then uh, just f pick your game. There's a huge list. And um, once you've picked your game, just click download. And then uh, it's going to ask you to click the open circle um, to get the download links. And the open circle is just the one that's incomplete. And then you're going to have a series of download links that you're going to have to download. Because PS2 games are pretty big, so uh, it takes more than one download. All right, so now I'm just going to min minimize that, and I'll show you how to run the actual PS2 games that you've downloaded. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to play the games that you've downloaded from the internet. So typically when you download a game, it should uh, be an ISO file. And when you download multiple parts uh, for a game, just use a program like Unrar X or something like that to put them all together into the ISO file. And once you have that file, pretty much what you want to do is just go into your PCSX2 uh, application, go to Run ISO Image under the File menu, then you want to navigate to the ISO file. So for example, mine was in my desktop, so I'll go to Users, then My Name, then Desktop. And it should be uh, there, as you can see, Simpson Skateboarding ISO. So open that up. It's going to open, and now, as you can see, uh, the game is running, and it's uh, I can't figure out how to get the memory card thing to work, but um, I'll try to figure it out anyways, and as you can see, uh, it's now on the loading screen, so it, it's going to take a while to load. I don't know. There's a long thing here, but um, I can assure you, if you have a relatively good computer, uh, like an iMac or a MacBook Pro, then the games will most likely run pretty smooth. As you can see here, mine is running relatively well. And uh, by the way, um, if the sound or video isn't working, you can go into your BIOS uh, settings and change around the files, uh, like the drop down menus, and see if that helps. So, as you can see, uh, the game is fully working. And uh, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, just uh, personal message me or put them in the comments. Alright, so thanks for watching and remember to subscribe.